Hey there, just a quick vid to show you how to run this 8x8 water to air heat exchanger as a heater and power it totally with solar. Alright, so here it is. Totally off grid unit. Got the 100 watt solar panel in the back. That's powering the 80 watt fan in the front and a 20 watt 12 volt 350 GPH bilge pump to pump the water through the unit in the back. 8x8 water to air heat exchanger. And the second part of the, the deal is how do you heat the water. So right now, I'm just using 50 feet of copper tubing hooked to a 5 watt solar panel and a 5 watt pump in the bottom. That'll pump the water through and heat it up. And then again, the hot water goes through there and cranks out the heat, cranks out the hot air. It's working great. There's inside the bucket, two small pumps. All right, there's your water temp. Perfect. Now let's hook the pump up. All right, now we got the main pump on. You can see that one's a lot stronger. Pulling a little air right now. That gives you an idea of the water flow. Beautiful. In no time at all, we should get some good temps out of this thing. Yeah, it's already really warm. And there's your air temp. 110, 111. Okay, there's your air temp after about 30 seconds. Quick shot of the back. Here's the solar panel connection. That's the 350 GPH pump and the 80 watt fan. There's the connection to the 5 watt panel for the small pump. See if I can give you a shot of that. That's the 5 watt pump right there. And that of course is the 350 GPH bilge pump. Big difference in the water flow. But that's the way it should be. Just for reference, that's your outdoor air temp. Mid-70s. Or 236 Celsius. varies a little, but you get the idea. It's working perfect. Absolutely perfect. Again, that's a half-inch plywood on the front, roughly 12 by 10. Got the 7-inch car radiator fan on the front, 12-volt, 80-watt DC. And we got the 2x4s on the sides, both 11 inches long. And that's the basic frame. Then you just take this 8x8 heat exchanger and slide it in. And for reference, the 8x8 refers to the fins on the back. Total height of it is about 11 or 12 inches high. If you haven't seen it, my last vid shows the 12x12 water to air heat exchanger with the actual uh, small mini bucket water heater you plug in. So AC version. But this is the DC version. It's working great. It's been running a couple hours.
You can think of it as kind of a battle between the solar water heating panel you're using and the water to air heat exchanger. It's held steady for the first hour, hour and a half. Now I think the heat exchanger is winning the battle. That just means I need to paint this black and or enclose it or use a bigger, a bigger coil, like maybe one of those black irrigation tubing coils. Beautiful. All right, that's a wrap.